Hi everyone, it's Gary at Stark's Warehouse again here. Um, so, I'm just getting on to the moulding process of moulding all the pieces at the minute. Um, this is, as you can see, is a solid resin piece, is a solid resin ear. That has made a quick silicone mould up of the foam ear. Um, pull the resin piece from it and give it a quick sand down to smooth everything out. I'm going to pull another one of these out soon. So as I've shown you before in my previous videos, this is the helmet. So basically what I'm going to do, we'll pull another resin piece out, stick oops, that, way, that onto the side, and once they're both stuck on both sides, and then I can go into the <coughs> process of um, moulding the helmet. Um, so I'll just pull another piece out of this, um, give it a quick sand down and smooth the same, and then I'll get it stuck to the helmet. Okay, so the resin is now set in the silicone mould. Um, let's try and get it out with one hand so I can show you. It should easily pop out. Here we go. One resin piece ready for cleaning up and sticking to the other side of the helmet. Okay, so here's both ears. They're not perfect, uh, but I've given them a quick sand down just to save a lot of work when it's finally cast on the helmet. Um, like smooth the edges down, both sides and things it's got inside. So obviously when they're on the helmet it's going to be very awkward to get some um, some kind of sanding equipment or sandpaper in the small gaps that you do have in between. Um, so I'll just sand them down. Just a quick sand down, obviously. When they're on the helmet, I'll probably just give the fascias nice smooth down and along with the entire helmet. Um, I've also roughed the back up with some sandpaper because once these do get pulled out of the silicone mould the backs are very very smooth and obviously sticking them to the helmet I didn't want the glue to not adhere and the ears fall off which is not good so I've roughed them up to give the glue something to stick to and now I'm just going to go ahead and glue these onto the foam helmet okay so now that we have the ears stuck on either side as you can see. It looks pretty smart so far. As you can see there's little marks around it, don't worry about that. That is just where I've been around with clay. Had some spare clay laying over. And basically all of the holes that the glue didn't fill, I've just smudged a little bit of clay like into where the foam meets, just into them little holes that haven't been filled. So if you see any little white marks like that, it's just clay. Um, basically, it'll save me a lot, a lot of work after I've cast it. Instead of going in afterwards with Bondo and putting it all over where the whole little holes are and then rubbing it all down and sanding it down. Um, doing this way, I can actually fill the holes in the seams, which have got little holes in them smooth them out with my finger, with a warm finger or a wet damp finger smooth it out and then if they do need sanding down afterwards all you got to do is sand it down, you don't need to mess around with uh, Bondo in it waiting for it to dry then rubbing it all down you can just sand it straight out um, so I thought it's kind of like pre Bondo in it with the clay so that I can just sand it all out afterwards so that's that so far. So thank you for watching this first video on the setup for silicone moulding. And I will shortly be uploading hopefully another video uh, which actually shows you the silicone process. Thank you for watching again guys and I'll see you in the next video.